All right, number three on the 10-6 worksheet was requested. Everything's on one side, so here we go. A is 1, B is negative 4, and C is negative 196. So using the quadratic formula, negative B, so it's going to be positive 4, plus or minus <clears throat> the square root of quantity negative 4 squared, minus 4 times A times C. <clears throat> Sorry, all over 2A. So, negative 4 squared is 16. Negative 4 times 1 times negative 196 gives us 784 divided by 2. So, let's simplify under the radical. 16 plus 784 is 800. So, is 800 a perfect square? You tell me. The answer is no. But, what perfect square goes into 800 that you could think of? 400? 400 a perfect square? Yeah. What's 400? Square root of 400 is 20. <clears throat> you could take different routes to get there, but I think that's one of the more direct ones that most of you might think about. I think there's another we could even do. Wait, hold on, what am I thinking in my head? That doesn't make sense. 400, how about 400 times, uh, yeah, okay, sorry, I'm talking to myself. All right, let's do 400 times 2. I don't know what I was thinking. Sorry, all right, so, we simplify. What's the square root of 400? 20, root 2. Okay, that's great, you basically have the answer, now you just have to simplify. Remember, the 2 here belongs to that 4, <clears throat> and it belongs to this here. So for those of you who need to see that broken up, it's really 4 over 2 plus or minus 20 root 2 over 2. If that helps you visualize it better, you can. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and then remember, when we have something like this, you're just simplifying what's in front of the radical. So 20 divided by 2 is 10 in root 2. That's your answer. You could also just say, okay, what do 4, 20, and 2 all have in common? They have 2 in common. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 20 divided by 2 is 10. Anything divided by 1 is itself. And you get the same answer. Okay, I hope that helps.